So today I thought I'd do a book haul for you and I thought I'd bring you outside because uh, it's a bit of a gloomy day and the light filtering through my window was rather pitiful so I thought I'd come out and try and absorb as much of the light as possible so you'd at least be able to see what I'm showing you. Uh, so just to have uh, about five books uh, I just want to go ahead and share with you guys that I picked up. Uh, first one's just a manga. This is Ajahn Demi Human Volume 9 which is really hard to see on the cover. I don't know why they did it like that. This is by um, Gammon Sakurai and it's it's this particular volume. It's it's basically demi humans versus humans, but also there's another group of demi humans that are more evil. Demi humans being beings that cannot die. Uh, there's a lot of action battle scenes. Um, to show you a quick, there's lots of gunfights and other weird things that the demi humans can do. It's like a creature that they can kind of generate from their bodies. Um, just a super cool series. Really skinny. Really quick reads. I think it might be ending soon. I'm not really... This is some kind of thing here reaches a conclusion in this volume, whether it means just this arc of a storyline or the series entirely. I don't know if it's ending here or not, but I'll find out. Next is a book I found actually on the return shelves at Barnes & Noble, uh, and I kept looking at it, going back to it during the day, and I'm thinking, I've never read that, and I, I kind of would like to read it. So rather than let it go back to the publisher, pulled it off the shelf, and that is Invasion of the Body Snatchers by Jack Finney. This is the 60th anniversary edition. Classic science fiction novel, never read it, seen the movie, I don't know, years and years and years ago. That's, we almost say decades ago. Um, but yeah, never never really thought about the fact that there could be a volume, a book behind it. Uh, so I'll just go ahead and read the synopsis in case of those of you who are not familiar with it, or it's been as long as it has been for me. Uh, on a quiet fall evening in the peaceful town of Mill Valley, California, Dr. Miles Bennell discovers an insidious, horrifying plot. Subtly, almost imperceptibly, alien life forms are taking over the bodies and minds of his neighbors, friends, families, and the woman he loves, and the entire world as he knows it. First published in 1955, this thrilling classic about the ultimate alien invasion and the triumph of human spirit over an invisible enemy has inspired multiple film adaptations, I could say that, adaptations, and entertain readers for decades. This beautifully updated edition features original artwork by Hugo Award-winning illustrator John Piccaccio and a new foreword by New York Times bestselling author and thriller mastermind Dean Kunst. Um, actually, I did not look to see that there were illustrations. Unless they mean just on the cover. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Original artwork. Must just mean the cover, because there's no illustrations or anything within the book. But anyway, I'm, I'm super psyched to read it, and it's like a little quickie read, so um, I might save that for maybe Dewey's 24-hour uh, readathon. I think that's coming up possibly at the end of this month. I always lose track of when all these uh, readathons come up, but if it is, I will probably be reading that during that time. The next book I came across is an ARC copy uh, that I got at work, and I had no idea this was even a thing. Uh, it's Michael Crichton's Dragon Teeth. Apparently, uh, it says, legendary number one New York Times bestselling author of Jurassic Park returns to the world of paleontology in this recently discovered novel, a thrilling adventure set in the Wild West during the golden age of fossil hunting. Now, I'm not a big Western fan, but I'm definitely uh, anything with dinosaurs and stuff. I am uh, all over. So I'm uh, really intrigued by this. Set in the year 1876, um, apparently this was a complete novel or manuscript that was discovered amongst his uh, papers after his passing, and uh, yeah, kind of kind of psyched to check that one out. The next book is uh, one that I tracked down with the help of some of you, uh, particularly, and I'll give a shout out to you guys, uh, Jules Reads Gems and uh, Music Bookaholic, who actually provided a link for it. Uh, when I showed in my last book haul, Josephine Tay's Daughter of Time, um, kind of a Richard III type mystery, I mentioned about my fascination with uh, Richard III and the past, and I knew that there was a book um, about the discovery of his remains beneath the parking lot, and I couldn't quite remember the title, and both of these uh, viewers uh, provided me with the title and the link, like I said, and I went ahead and picked up a copy. That is The King's Grave. This is by Philippa. Langley and Michael Jones, The Discovery of Richard III's Lost Burial Place and the Clues It Holds. Um, apparently his uh, remains were found beneath a parking lot in Leicester, England. And there are like photos of uh, the discovery and the, the team and the marking they've left behind uh, on the parking lot to commemorate the spot. And um, in fact, there's his skeletal remains there. You can see with the curvature of the spine and all that. But I'm 
I'd really like to kind of check that one out. It's probably something I'll be reading um, when we roll around to nonfiction November. So I'm looking forward to checking that out. And the last one I have for you today is uh, a book I found at a little free library. In fact, it is stamped Little Free Library. Uh, keep, share, or return it. Always a gift, never for sale. And I uh, was just swinging by there and I dropped off uh, an ARC book that I had, which you, know, you can't sell those or anything, so I usually leave them behind in the little free libraries. And I spotted this, and it is a treasury of short stories. A really old book here, uh, and it is compiled by Bernardine Kielty. This is Favorites of the Past Hundred Years from Turgenev to Thurber from Baltic to Hemingway with biographical sketches of authors and edited by Kielty. Um, the one thing about this particular edition is the cover. <laughs> so it's breaking away from the spine, though still attached at the back. So this is going to need a bit of repair, and I'm uh, sort of researching on YouTube to see if there are any um, anybody who has talked about this. I checked through Steve Donahue's channel, um, and he's done a lot of like the paperback, uh, mass market and trade repairs, and also dust jackets, but nothing anything with hardcover. I think he even um, mentioned that he couldn't do anything with that. So I went ahead and uh, just searched hardback repair and came across a couple videos. They're both pretty much the same. I'm going to go ahead and give it a try and see what happens, um, but it, it seemed fairly straightforward if I get the right glue. Um, but I'll have to like these pages are super thin almost like Bible type pages and it looks like it was orig originally sort of taped back on so I'll have to remove this like cut this tape off here and try and do the repair we'll see how it goes I may or may not film it um, I don't I really have a good setup for cameras and things to angle things right but we'll see uh, I might give it a shot but just to give you an idea of some of the contents here we have Turgenev, Tolstoy, Chekhov, Flaubert um, Hans Christian Andersen, these are like the 19th century, so it has like 19th century European and American, and then uh, going forward it has the same thing, um, like the end of the 20th century, uh, and it's split again between European and um, American. We have Robert Louis Stevenson, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, Roger Kipling, Joseph Conrad, Edgar Allan Poe, uh, Stephen Crane, O. Henry, Henry James, Edith Wharton, then into our time, Isaac Dennison, um, D. H. Lawrence. Aldous Huxley, and it's just packed. Virginia Woolf, maybe it's my, it's A Haunted House by Virginia Woolf. Short story, maybe that's how I'll give her another try after the lighthouse fiasco. Uh, James Thurber, uh, Steinbeck, Hemingway, Dorothy Parker, just jam-packed. So this was just a, a fantastic find at a little free library. Who knew? Who knew? Um, and it's, it's like double columned on all the pages, hence they can fit that much in there. And it is, um, Published by Simon and Schuster, and it's 849 pages of short stories. Now, if you watch my channel before, you know I'm not a big fan of short stories, but I'm always looking to try new authors, particularly uh, classics and modern day classics and things. So this is jam packed full of little samples of those. So we'll see. Um, give me a chance to try out some of these authors, and if I like them, I'll go on to larger and longer novels. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, my little book haul. So we have that. I'll do the Steve Donahue version here, The Treasury of Short Stories. Um, we have King's Grave by Philip Langley. About the discovery of Richard III's tomb. Uh, Michael Crichton's Dragon Thief, an advanced copy. In fact, when is this coming out? Um, May 17th. And we have Invasion of the Body Snatchers by Jack Finney, 60th Anniversary Edition. And Ajin Demi-Human, Volume 9 by Gammon Sakurai. So that's my mini call. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.